Hello, and this is the Manchurian Joe. Now, it's been a while since my last video, but we're back on again, and hopefully it will remain consistent. But today, we're going to be doing another one of those what armors are best for insert place here. And today's video is going to be about the gra the step, the grasslands, or just huge swaths of ma mostly flat land, mostly grassland, but just huge swaths of it. Now, what sort of armors would be best for that sort of environment? Well, we gotta we gotta think about we gotta what's what's put what's put into context. What people did fight on step lands? Well, it should be obvious. Nomads, you know, horsemen. Th those that those of that ilk, the Mongols, Jurchens, uh, the t Turks. The old school Turks, not the not the ones uh, that took the name Turks and were used to be the Ottoman Empire. I'm talking old school Turks, the old school Turkic people, uh, the Kipchaks, you know, horse horse riders, you know, Parthians and all that. You know, it's the Central Asians. Those those people are among the more famous of the step of the step people. Who roll around and fought and all that, but the the question is, what armors would be best for that sort of environment? Well, let's think of it like this: you need to be fast, you need to be mobile, you need to be fast and mobile, agile, too. You need a good horse, or at least a decent enough horse, but you need to have the protection necessary to withstand other nomads coming at you with uh, swords, spears arrows and the better your armor the better it, your your chances are at surviving battles and, and just tribal warfare in the step now I, I just want to caveat I just want to get this out of the way full you can't just answer all these problems with full plate armor you just can't all right because you can't move around good. Fighting in the step with full plate, it will not last you long enough because there's barely anything to use to maintain your kit. That's also another problem. You need a, you, you don't, there's not enough material. If you want materials, you have to go out of the step and go buy it and trade it in some metropolitan or just some big, or just some a sizable town that happens to have merchants there. That's, or just anyone who trades stuff there. But in the step, if you're deep in the step, you're, there's barely anything around to maintain your kit. There's not a lot of forest. There's not, it's just huge swaths of land. So you gotta, you, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta think about this. You can't use full plate. Uh, so what can you use? Well, let's see. Let's see what people did use when they were fighting in the step. Uh, the clothes on your back are uh, seem to be uh, a good option, albeit it's not like ever it's not like there are a lot of rich. It's not like everyone could afford armor back then in, in the step. Uh, those were usually re relegated to those who either had the prestige or the wealth to buy the armor. But if you have a sturdy a good, a good sturdy thing of you know robe, captain, whatever the word you want. If you have a good enough robe, just good enough clothing, sturdy and tough, you will stand a better chance of surviving if you just wore nothing on your back. Because because also remember, uh, you gotta be doing with arrows, lots of arrows. Swords potentially and spears potentially if you're fighting medium to up close. So the clothes, so so good clothes will be will be one step above. That's the first thing. Now, what's the second thing? What's the second? What what can you upgrade to? Uh, in terms of protection, boiled leather, the hardened boiled leather. Now, there's barely any, uh, there's not a lot of findings of 
leather armor, but they do exist. But the uh, and the and there are videos out there that test uh, boiled leather. There's one by uh, Scalgrim. He did one years back on a piece of boiled hardened leather, and it was surprisingly tough. So if you and plus, if you are in a tribe, you're go you're 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 likely to have uh, uh, livestock with you. You know things like sheep or goats. You can use the hides from them to make. Uh, you can use their leather, or you know, hide their hide, to make leather out of. And you can use that leather, boil it, harden it enough to make a good, solid, relatively cheap armor for what you have to do. Now, what can what 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 can leather armor protect you against? Good hardened protect, per, uh, good hardened leather. Uh, Arrows to a certain extent, uh, sword slashes, uh, again up to a certain extent, spear thrust, but it's all to, it's all to a degree. It will protect you until it's no longer structurally, structurally stable or someone gets you through the gaps. But depending of what you make the leather into, you know, like leather lamellar armor, it'll be simple enough to replace it. And besides, leather ar uh, the Lemoir Le style armor is good because of an uh, overlaid protection. Because the plates are over, because each of the plates are overlay another overlap on another plate and the bottom and the net and the bottom row overlaps with the bottom of the of the upper row. So there's a lot of overlaid protection. Now what's the next armor could you upgrade to? Lamor armor. Lamor armor, metal Lamor armor. So like iron steel Lamor. It's very good. That's near top tier if you're going to go by game logic. Game logic, Lamor will be top tier. Because it's light, or at least compared to other armors, it's light, it's, easy, it's easier to repair, and it will last a lot longer. Than, uh, than the leather armor, especially from blows, sword cuts, spear thrust, sword thrust, all that jazz. It'll likely, it will, it will, it will, it will definitely protect you a lot better than the previous armors by a larger extent. Now the problem is uh, material cost in the step. Materials like iron, steel, you won't come across them often. You can go. You you got your only chance. Your only shots of getting to them is if you go to a a, a far off town and or city. Because we're remember we're contextualizing this. We're, we're we're imagining this as if you are in the deep deep neck of the grasslands of the steppe. So you have to travel a long ways to that. Place. But once you get it, uh, it will last a while. The the weather it has that's or whatever the uh, the cordage is made of, you can you can easily replace it if the time if if it does come to that with your livestock. The iron, if you have the means, you can repair the plates. Okay, well, let's assume that you have the materials and equipment you need. You have you need to repair this kit. If you have all of that, you are pretty much good in maintaining your kit. But we're only talking about in the sense of body armor. Helmets are another issue. Now, uh, what can you use uh, for helmets? Uh, a, a thick, a thick hat. That's one. It won't do you that good, but it, it'll it'll do you to some it'll do you good to some extent. Uh, iron helmet, that's one. Uh, doesn't really we're we're not really sticking to any particular style. Just just an iron helmet's already good enough. A steel helmet's very good. Uh, if you have uh, a helmet with an aventail of sorts, even better because you'll. If someone tries to like, get you from the, from the side with an arrow or a sword or a lance or a spear, um, it'll, you'll at least be protected by that, which is a good thing that aventails do, and helmets, and just armor in general. 
the the point of this video is of the the armors that are best to wear in the step are thing are armors that are lightweight but very protective. You don't want to be lugging too much weight on you because you gotta be mobile, you gotta be fast, you gotta be agile. You can't be you can't be slowed down by heavy kit or a lot of kit. You got you just need the armor. You just need enough armor that you can protect yourself. And lamellar mail, uh, padding, and boiled leather are good are good enough armors to protect you to bow in the step. Maybe I'll do another video of what weapons are best to use in the step. Because uh, the two main weapons that are best to use in the step are things that give you range. So bows, and if you have to fight somewhat up close, a spear. But yeah, uh, that's about it. This is the Manchurian in general. I'll be posting a, uh, a video uh, next week, or at least I'll try to. Or maybe in two weeks, I don't know. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, I will see you in the next one, whenever that will be. And yeah, like and subscribe, and peace out.